What a joyous day to wear such a hat. Red, velvety texture. And we're going back to the Prudhomme's Antique and Flea Market. This is part four. This is the upper part of the North Building. Right there is the South Building. We've done that in parts one and two. These are the outdoor buildings that usually have more of a flea market feel, although they have some antiques in them. They're just not open at this time of year. I'm sure we'll have to do return to uh, do some video regarding the outdoor portion. And this is the North Building. It, the back of it is towards Lake Ontario. The front of it is towards the Queen Elizabeth Way. This is the sign on the side of the building. And there's no doubt there's more than 40 vendors throughout the uh, two buildings. Uh, there's a hallway on the first floor. As you can see, we've just started off right at the first floor and it's got quite a bit of artwork on it, on the hallway walls. And then the various rooms that were originally part of the residence have the interesting stuff. Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pop. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. And we're looking at some more of the hallway art and finally moved into one of the rooms. Here we see uh, bits of statuary, glass, ceramics. Oh, a couple of oil lamps. And a collection of single lens reflex lens. Some of them may work for digital versions as well. Some uh, model railway. Some old, older electrical light fixtures. Some oil lamps again. A globe. So we got quite a quite a selection here. And some of those look like they're railway types. Huh. Even a, a coffee urn. Some of the old glass. This is another, another room. There's the hat, and, the, and there was another one as well. <clears throat> Theatrical mask decor there. Some Carves from the looks of it. Some vases. Some artificial flowers. Huh, even a bobblehead was mixed in with them. ceramics in another room. Some of it is, uh, some of the light fixtures look like they've really been frilled up. This was a very interesting room. 
you saw the guitar neck. Uh, quite a collection of various bits and pieces there. Some other musical instruments there. Mary Jingles. Some wicker, just wicker wear. They usually often had a liner inside of them. Some more lamps, electric ones in this case. Pass through some another room there. Like an old Chianti bottle. Some old snowshoes. Oh, here we are. We're this time we're in the attic. Yes, it has a couple of windows in it. Um, quite the melange of materials here. The stairs up are a bit on the narrower side and steep. From LPs to uh, Ceramics to glass. Some statuaries, carvings and toys and there's the stairs. Some nice bits of furniture up here too. Not sure if it's run as uh, I think there's a number of booths up here as well. And here's an old fan. You know it's old because you can actually put your fingers through and touch the blade. Which also caused problems with some kids, would, well even adults, put their fingers in and cut the finger. So there's the fan. The back is as open, if not more so. Hmm. Vintage toy pedal car of some sort. Cast iron pans hanging from the rafter there. Stainless steel carving roasting pan. And some more furniture. Ceramic uh, crock of sorts. Some other smaller liquid crocks. Or jugs as some it'd also be called, I suppose. Some glass and possibly even crystal there. There's some porcelain. not highly lit so the camera picked up most of it quite well thank you very much and the main portion of it is uh, two tables and three aisles so there's some artwork they had standing up against the tables a violin in a case wow and some more uh, snowshoes. The 
the old peas again. Couldn't avoid going past some of the items twice. So. Huh, road signs even. Covered pot. Now I'm not going to say what kind of pot because I don't know for sure. Some interesting bottles that they've got on the shelf here. Milk, soft drink, beer, canning, all kinds of jars and bottles there. Steering a wheel from a wheelhouse perhaps, from a ship or a large boat. And a cannon of sorts. I mean, it's, I think that was a wine bottle holder. Now that's quite a bit of rope. Around top chest. Curious oriental style box. I do believe it's metal. You can see some of the paint is peeled off. There are other comp signage out here as well. Company vehicles only, for example. Then come down to this room. I came back downstairs and, and it's got a collection of stringed instruments. Now those were look more like standard ones, but these look like they're cigar box type guitars. I don't see them very often, but these guys had them. Not one, but quite a few. the artwork in one of the rooms in the and we've come back down to here for the unity unity of the empire there had been somebody in the room when I had first looked in so that I may have revisited on that basis just in case you didn't catch it from the previous episode here you get another still shot of it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this uh, I'd appreciate a thumbs up uh, in other words a like maybe even a subscribe and if you're really interested put a tinkle on the bell so you'll know about the next one that's being posted thanks a lot folks bye bye